Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Lens of Truth, with me, Ivan Florentino, and for today's video, chill season for Splatoon 3 is almost approaching on December 1st. And we've been getting so much information on Twitter and with a recent drop on YouTube with the latest update where it features a returning stage from Splatoon 1, Bluefin Depot, and a brand new stage called Robo Ramen. This is going to be a huge update for us Splatoon 3 players and I can't wait. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please hit that like button, ring the bell, leave a comment, and let's get to it. So when this random trailer dropped, we got a nice surprise with this pretty cool, trippy looking trailer featuring Harmony. And not only was a brand new stage revealed called Robo Ramen, but we got a brand new special, which I was not expecting. So this is modeled after some type of a tear gas canister. And when it pops open, it reveals a screen that you can see through and you're able to shoot through it. It travels slowly in the direction where it lands, making for a nice advancement in the matches. And talk about creativity with the Splatoon team. If you zoom in, these are bendy straws, taking it back to the 90s, and also with some soda mixed in. And this is pretty cool and creative that they took something like this, this type of a gas canister, and as it travels, it has two large straws on each side pushing forward this type of soda screen, which is pretty cool. And notice that when it touches people, it disorients them in a black and white monochrome way, making it hard for you to see. And although we don't know how long it'll last, this makes for a great team push. Now if we take a look at the brand new stage Robo Ramen, it looks to be a nice variation when it comes to not being so much of a hallway type of stage. Hopefully there's a lot of verticality, just like the brand new stages that we've been getting where it doesn't feel so samey, but we'll see when we get to it. But this is a nice idea to have. And just by the looks of it, when it zooms out, it seems to be a fairly larger stage than normal. Now, another exciting thing, especially since I played Splatoon 1 back in 2015, the return of Bluefin Depot. That's pretty cool because it's been reworked. And although it wasn't one of my favorites, it still was a fun stage and we haven't seen it since the original. It wasn't brought back in Splatoon 2. And it looks like there's a brand new gimmick where you stand on a certain section of an elevator and that's the only time it moves. And if you move off of it, it goes back down. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this was another stage that feels completely different from all the other ones we've had. And I can't wait to see all the reworks in every single mode. We do have brand new secondary kits. So we're gonna get Undercover Brella with a brand new design. And it comes with a torpedo sub and the splatter color screen. Can't wait to see how that one plays out. And then the foil squeezer, the basic squeezer that's gussied up for the holidays. And it does come with a splatter color screen and auto bomb. So that's a pretty cool combination. Perfect for seeking your opponents out. So the Paintbrush Nouveau has a new design. It looks pretty cool in gold. It has the point sensor and the Tenta missile. So this is a good combination as well. And not only that, but we got a brand new song called Sloping Spree. Let's take a listen. All right, and then not only that, we also get the Reflux 450 Deco. And it now has a splash wall and reef slider. So I don't know about this one just yet, but it feels like this one should have used a burst bomb to kind of help it get some of that chip damage and easier kills, but we'll see how this one plays out. And then the S Blast 92 edition looks a little different with its purple color and gray. And this actually resembles the Super Nintendo with these purple buttons. It comes with burst bombs and the booyah bomb. So this is gonna be a nice, nice combination. And here we take a closer look at Bluefin Depot. So here we have a closer look at those elevators. 
that's gonna be pretty cool. And finally, we get the Neos Platana Stamper. So this one has Toxic Mist and the Crab Tank. I know a lot of people have been wanting a brand new weapon with the Crab Tank, so we'll see how this one plays out. So actually the Custom Blaster has a new design, some new colors, and it comes with the Point Sensor and the Triple Splashdown. So that's one of the biggest surprises here is a brand new rework of an old special from Splatoon 1. And I know we did get the basic special in the story of the game, but here is a brand new, the triple splashdown special, which is insane. I know people data mined it a long time ago, but here we have it, a reworked special from the OG Splatoon 1. So here we're gonna take a look at the triple splashdown in action. Also, it looks pretty cool because you actually have two almost hologram looking clones of yourself that do the other splashdowns. That's pretty cool. This is a nice rework because the game, you in the original, or actually in Splatoon 2, you're so vulnerable and you were able to be killed super easy. Oh, and you can actually take some of them down as well. So we're going to slow that down just a little bit. Oh, so yeah, it does look cool. They're actually two fists. I thought they were two clones of yourself, but they're actually two huge fists. And now with so many specials, I want to see how it's going to affect the entire meta, but it's going to be a variety for sure. So what did you guys think of this new update? And I'll be going into more detail as soon as I play it in a few days. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.